Good morning, guys. Welcome to the channel. Um, we have with us today Maria from uh, Cantiere della Dele Mar Marche. Marche. Am I pronouncing Dele that correctly? Della yeah. Marche. Della Marche. Uh, on board this 107 foot uh, expedition yacht. Do we call it an expedition yacht? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, and um, she's going to give us a little walk around and uh, and a little bit of more information on this vessel and what it's all about. So please, Maria. Yes. Up to you. So Cantiere delle Marche is the only shipyard in the world that just and only builds expedition vessels okay. since 2010. And uh, so the ship are the absolutely number one of the, this kind of vessel. Steel hull, robust hull, and every yacht, even these that belongs to a, a series, the Darwin class series, okay. is fully customized. Right. And you said steel hull and yes, aluminium, aluminium superstructure. superstructure. Okay. All of them okay. with very thick hull. I will tell you later a few features about the hull okay. that is very thick and has a nice belt okay. around. Perfect. So uh, every yacht, even if it belongs to a series, is fully customized. Okay. In this very case, the yes, owner... Tell us, tell us about this yeah. uh, interesting piece of so, equipment. Yeah. The boat is based on the platform, on the double platform of the 102, that is a model, a very successful model. I think that we launched already five or six. But the owner wanted to fish because he's a very passionate fisherman and he wanted the mothership. Right. But then our CEO came up with the idea why we don't keep the boat as a fishing boat too? Yeah. And it was so the right. So you combined super yacht with exactly, explorer yacht with a, exactly. the aft end of a uh, exactly. sport fisher. So the boat has been lengthened by four feet, just four feet, but not just four feet because as you can see, it's not just a, a swimming platform, no, a larger swimming, <laughs> swimming platform, because we have these huge water tanks for the living bites. Okay. Uh, 800 liters, 400 liters, 300 liters, so a lot of water okay. means a lot of weight of at the stern. Yes, yeah. uh, changes your stability. On absolutely, the so yeah. it's not just to add four feet to the to the length of the boat, yeah. but the entire naval architecture has to be redesigned okay. accordingly yeah. because a, a lot of weight is here. Yeah, it's not just the platform, yeah, it's also the tanks that you've The tanks there. and also the freezers yeah, okay. for the catch. And the large freez freezers there. Okay. So a lot of weight is here. So the boat actually has to be redesigned. Okay. It's a one of a kind uh, model. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to head to the engine room now. fish down here and this is where they clean all yeah, their fish? This yes. is what the, this whole purpose of this room is, huh? Here we have extra freezers. Okay. Okay. The That's boat awesome. is actually meant to sail a lot, non-stop. Okay. Right. So you will see that everywhere there is freezer, fridge, storage areas, because okay. the owner stays on board a lot. So here we are in the engine room, okay. Cantiere delle Marche uh, jokes saying that we build the boat from the engine room up. Yeah. So the engine room is a very important part. Okay. Always for the same reason, these are boats, explorer vessel, meant to sail everywhere. Yeah. So it's very important that the crew, the engineer, can handle everything in the best possible way. For sure, for sure. You can see that the boat has been sailed for 3,500 miles this summer okay. and it's Still immaculate. Immaculate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is it just one engineer on board? Yes. Okay. 
All ma you, manifold pumps are all at end. Yeah, I see that. Uh, the the two engines. Yes, are what are you running? Caterpillar C18. Okay. Some have 500 kilowatts each. Okay. So modest, let's say, uh, propulsion, but it's the perfect because our heavy duty engine. Yeah. So it's very, very, they are very, very good. Okay, uh, fantastic. Generators, you've got Generators, two? there are two color. Okay. And uh, everything in, uh, with Cantillo de Marque yachts are, is redundant. Uh, not only the generators, also pumps, etc. Because it, when you sail far from any kind of assistance, of course, yeah. the, the yacht has to be self-sufficient. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. It, okay, not 100%, but yeah. of course, <laughs> as much as possible. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And your tank capacities? Uh, uh, 46,000 uh, liters. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have to remember that this boat has been actually built according to the honest. We usually say that in the yachting industry uh, because in this size of boat is not a production yeah. boat. Every yacht is custom specific. Uh, yes, but this one really, you will see also the interior is meant to to be perfect for the family. They want this kind of boat. They designed the boat together with uh, with uh, the shipyard and the designers. Okay. So this is a. We can call it a private terrace okay. to the owner because yeah. the owner cabin is here. We, you will oh, see this is later. the owner's cabin right here? Yes, here. here. Okay. When, when we will go inside, you will see. Uh, this is because it's a boat for family use. Okay. So it really doesn't matter. They don't have privacy issues. Yeah. Because if someone is here, uh, children or grandchildren yeah. or themselves so you really don't, are not guests yeah, okay. so All it's right. good to have this so this is another space for the family with a big table um, I wanted to to go back to a few technical feature of the boat yes, yes. also thinking about how uh, customizes the boat the family mean want our plans to to sail and to fish everywhere in the world it means from the highest latitude the northern west passage and then down to the to the south, to the south. or to the caribbean okay. they are from uh, florida so okay. and so the boat has been equipped with two different kind of features yeah one is the ice belt i mentioned before okay it means that at the water line level the, re the, um, the steel hull is thicker, much thicker, more than 12 centimeters. Okay, okay so up here, we, what do you call this, the uh, sun deck? Yes, yeah. this is the sun deck, okay. with, uh, equipped with everything you can, uh, you can uh, want to have, a large barbecue, freezer, fridge and, uh, and a sink, uh, and so they can stay here, have lunch, yeah. what, whatever they want. Okay. And uh, the jacuzzi. Jacuzzi as well. Is that is that full or does it does it fill no, up? No, he, he can he can fill more. Okay. We avoid to fill it up to yeah, the just yeah. So no, no. Off. From here, the water can can go. Oh, that's a drainage yeah, system. Yeah, yes, okay. the drainage system. But okay, this is the. By the way, the the owner told me that during the summer with the two grandchildren, they bought an inflatable, uh, you know, swimming pool, and so they were on the fishing cock. Oh, uh, with the with, pool yeah, down there. Yeah, yeah, with the small. <laughs> that's awesome. But this is just. So, uh, this boat, as all the boats built by Cantiere delle Marche, yeah. are little ships because they are actually meant to sail yeah. in all conditions, everywhere. Yeah. Uh, we receive a very nice message from the captain of one of our uh, boats, a boat that we lived last year and 130 feet. He was the new captain. Okay. And uh, he said, we met 75 knots of wind and high waves yeah. and the boat was so good behaved so good wow. i'm so grateful he was the new captain so uh, we knew that but 
a, a, a skilled captain. It's just nice to hear that from a captain. Yes, experience. a new captain. They say I was a little bit afraid because you know the situation, the the, situ the condition were quite uh, serious, and yep. the boat was excellent. That's great. Uh, uh, all these boats are these are displacement yacht, very very sturdy, very robust, and so they actually can sail everywhere. As all uh, the Darwin, they have this configuration with reverse. Yeah windows for better visibility yeah. and you will see that the wheelhouse is very big. We have um, side wings on both sides. Okay, very nice. Okay. Straightforward, simple, everything you need. Yeah. I like the little um, yes. the little thought process here of having a so actual, can, almost like a little bridge yeah. wing. You are. Yeah. A better visibility. Okay, amazing. Okay, into the wheelhouse. It's quite large with this area because the family likes to, Be to stay here, to share, on. yes. And the captain told me that actually even if he doesn't have a cabin on this deck, this couch is very comfortable and so during night watch you can lay down and okay. there is a fridge here. The captain has a cabin together with the other crew members okay. on the main deck forward. Right. And then just looking at your screen here, so you've got four big uh, MFDs yes, yes. running time zero, I see. And yes. um, this is a. Uh, the size is uh, really the size okay. is really remarkable uh, for yeah. large screens, yeah. and the captain is very satisfied with that because he had everything yeah. really. For a 107 yeah. foot boat as uh, well, it's, yeah. it's pretty impressive. Yes. All right, and the next room we're going through to here is the. This owner, is the owner's cabin. The owner cabin. Okay. He decided to have his own his cabin here, as I told you before. The boat has been fully customized. Yeah. It this beautiful cabin opens onto the terrace, but on the terrace you will just have they will just have family, yeah. so it's perfectly perfectly fine. The ship had proposed the same uh, boat, the same length with a different layout, yeah. uh, more traditional let's say, with a sky lounge here yeah. and a separated captain cabin here. Oops. Yes, just behind the uh, bridge. Yeah, there, yeah. yeah, here we have a large bathroom, Okay. Uh, but with this space, the, oh sorry. sorry, you've changed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's um, it's a it's a really nice cozy little cabin. It's also it's an unusual feature to have on a yacht where, you bear, especially on a slightly larger yacht, yes. the owner's cabin is yeah. part of the aft section of the yes. yacht. Yes. The bathroom. Okay. Okay. Should we hey. head downstairs? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So crew quarters are on the main deck. Okay. Four. All the way forward. Yes. Okay. There are three double cabins. So one of which. Three crew total. I haven't asked you that yet. Six. Six crew. Six. Okay. Here the is the nice wine cellar. So yeah, a little wine cellar over here. That way goes to the um, crew quarters. Yeah. Crew accommodation. Yes. Lounge area. Yes, you can see there is a yeah. one. One of the cabin is storage, which is here. We're okay to just have a yeah, look. Yeah. Look. Okay. Because also this yeah. this machine, he has. As you've got a nice little uh, crew set up here. Very nice, it's quite a very cozy little crew yeah, area, but spacious it? as well. An open plan salon yep. that goes from there to the galley. They oh want yeah, that's very nice. So you've got a big yeah. hole opening yeah, yeah. straight through there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, Can you they, seal that off at all? Is there a shutter? Yes, there is a, a, blind. a Yes, there is a glass that is mirror on this side. Okay. But from inside you look like at the police station. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's one of those. Yes. Yeah, so you yeah. can see one over yes, the Yes, it's, it's a false mirror. Oh, yeah. wow, okay. So, but usually it stays 
as it is open, yeah. because actually, as I told you, the family who owns this boat like to share all Everything moments, all yes, crew. together and formally. Oh, that's always nice. And, and so they, as a crew member, are, yes, are remember yes. being on boats where yes. you have, if you have owners that are happy in for the In Italy, crew to get we involved, call this configuration cucina all'americana. Cucina all'americana. All -americana. Oh, American that means kitchen. American kitchen. Yes. Okay. Very and nice. I, I have to say that I love this kind of thing because it offers you the possibility to share yeah, yeah. Uh, important moments of your day. Definitely, yes. definitely. Okay, ah, here we go. So this is our false mirror. You can see through. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 okay. But from the other side. You can just see through. Use a mirror. Use a mirror. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Police station. Yeah, yeah, pretty and much. I, yes, police yeah. station. <laughs> this, this comes out of the galley. <laughs> no, no, you have, have to. to hold it. <laughs> As you can see, the decoration is very cohesive everywhere. Almost the same materials. Mm. This is for hot water. He has a dedicated um, heater. Heater. Yeah. Boiler for that. Yeah. Yeah. So the hot water can go directly into the into the pot or onto the pot. The yes. Stone yeah. Just okay. not to to waste time. Sure. Uh, here there are two fridge. Sub zero. They are. Hmm? Okay. And you had more fridge storage down on the yes, there uh, are the lazarette. Yes, yeah. there are more fr uh, fridge and a freezer okay. on the lazarette. Ovens, microwave. Yes, microwave and uh, traditional. What's the brand? Wolf. Wolf oh, American. Yeah, yes, okay. they they brought in from uh, the states. Okay, nice big work uh, island as well in the center. Yeah, is an island. Okay. As you see, the, almost the same decoration that you have in the yeah. in the salon because actually it's a unique, the same, yeah, and it's unique the same designer uh, yeah. from their house as well. Yes, yes, and I think that they are very, very similar. So wow, here this is pretty impressive. The the owner asked to have five, as many as five cabins that are many for a boat of this size, actually. Yeah. Uh, four should be fine, okay. but here we have five plus one, six. So two twin, one of which has the possibility to turn into a double because this bed can slide. Can slide over, yeah. Yes. This is, is this mirrored on the other side? No, 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 it's not mirrored because this is actually twin. Oh, this is set as a twin, yes. so you cannot slide this no, one over. No, 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 and there is a third. A third bunk up yes, there as well? Yes, yes, there's a Pullman bed. Okay. Exactly the same so you've size. Got two twins, one two with a sliding bed to create a yes. uh, single, um, and then you've got your two, two doubles here. The two doubles, exactly the same. And we are we are on the lower deck, and the main deck is directly above us. So the yeah. di dining table is above us, and the yes, galley. Yes, exactly. But yeah. you you can see how high is the the ceiling. The ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Very much. What was the draft? The draft is 2.6. 2.6, okay. And years. the double is exactly the same on this exactly side? Exactly the okay. same. Just the color gray and uh, beige, but uh, okay. exactly the same. All right. Okay. With a, with a bathroom. Cabin, bathroom. Separated. Showers and toilets. And okay. toilets. And this has this got a sliding door? That can yes, close, yes. Yeah. There is a sliding door. You can okay. close it. So we end our tour where we started it, in the most peculiar place of the boat, yeah. actually. Maria, thank you very much for this tour on this 107 Cantiere della de Marche. Marche. I think I got it right the very second Very good. <laughs> and uh, no, it's been fantastic. It's incredible what you guys have done here. And thank you. I, yeah, I, one day I hope I can get on board and actually experience what it's like to be at sea on one of these. So thank Great. you very much. Thank you to you. And uh, yeah, we'll thank see you, you around soon.